Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Today, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you guys for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to cut and sew a palazzo trouser. Yeah, it is very simple and easy and we are going to be making use of the, of the free hand. We are not using any pattern. So you can also follow me on all of my various social media platforms at Instagram, Stylish Niger, Facebook, Stylish Niger, and then Pinterest, Five Stylish Niger. Most of all of these platforms, I normally share illustration notifications. So in case you miss it here, you can also get them on those platforms. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to be making use of, I'm going to be making use of two yards of fabric. So it is really simple like i said so let me just lay out my fabric and then we'll start the measurement so if you want to register for my online classes for this month you can see my number scrolling through the screen just send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll send you the different course outline i actually have a new class now which is the advanced class so you can register for that class you can register for the ready to wear class for those that want to go into ready to wear business how to size your dresses how to finish them properly and then you can also register for the cost set class the intermediate class and then the beginners are not left out so let's just get started okay like i said i thought that i i'm using two yards of fabric so i cut out this piece first that i'm going to use i'm folding my fabric at 17 inches because it is a palazzo trouser so it is usually the down part is usually bigger so I'm just folding at 17 inches, which is uh, my hip uh, measurement. You divide your hip into four and then I added seven inches to it. So we're going to be cutting the front first before we go over to the back. So I'm going to insert the measurement that I'm going to use for this tra um, palazzo trouser. So I'm using one inch. I'm going to use one inch for my, for my band. So you can use two inches. So you see my tape. I'm placing my tape like this. And then the first line that I'm going to measure, I'm going to measure my... So this part, this point is going to serve as my waist. And then the next line that I'm going to be adding to this um, fabric is my hip line. So, you know, um, basically hip is usually a 9 inches, just like standard. So I'm going to be marking 9 inches like this. I'll just rule it straight. And then the next line that I'm going to match is my crouch line. So for the crouch line, what, I'm, what you are going to do if you want to, to mark your crouch, I'm just trying to show you. You are going to take your tape like this and then you are going to, because this is a palazzo, you are going to, you see this deep part of your waist. You are going to sit on a plain surface and then you are going to measure it up to the seat. Up to, for instance, I'm sitting on this surface. I'm just going to place my tape like this and then I'm going to measure like this as I'm sitting down. So this point like this is going to be my crouch measurement. So for this, I'm using 11.5 inches. Yeah, I'm using 11.5 inches for my crouch uh, measurement. Yes, this is it. 11.5 inches. That's my crouch. And then the next measurement, I'm using my knee measurement, which is 20 inches for my knee. So you measure from your waist to your knee. And then the full length of the palazzo, I'm using 42 inches. And then I'll add 2 inches that I'm going to use for the stitching. Okay, so for the crouch uh, measurement, what you are going to do, you are going to sit on a on a plain surface like this, like a chair, and then you are going to take your tape like this, and then you place it on your waist, the this deep part of your waist, that's like the center part, that's this mid part, you could see this part, you place your tape like this, and then you measure it down to the surface. So for mine, I'm actually using about 11.5 inches, you measure it as you are sitting, so let's assume you are sitting here, so that's what you, are, you use for your crouch, so that's this line, the camera actually did not get it, so I had to do it again. So that's this line for your crouch and measurement. So now we're going to start imputing all of our measurements now. Okay, so we're going to start imputing our measurements right now. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to come to this part. So let me just trim off this excess. So you're going to come to this waistline. This is the waistline. From this point, you're going to mark one inch inwards. So this is our one inch. Just give it like a slant curve here. And then you, you come to the down part 
So for the down part, I'm going to use 2.5 coming in like this, on this point like this. This is 2.5. So the essence of this line is just for us to give it a nice curve. So from this point like this, from this waistline point, we're just going to do a slant, a little slant to the hip line like this, from this point like this. Just the way you slant your skirt, just slant it a little bit to the edge like this. And then the next thing we're going to do from this point, that from our 2.5 inches, we're going to mark it, just give it like a slant like this. So you could actually measure from the from the knee line also. You could measure from the knee line. So from the knee line, I'm going to come in by 1.5 or 1 inch. So it depends on. And then from this point, you just mark this like this up to this point. And then from this point, this could come to your crouch line like this. Just follow the same mark to your crouch line. And then from this part, you blend it up with your curve to get a perfect curve on this side. We are going to start imputing the other measurements here. So for on your on your crouch line, that's where you are going to put your lap measurement. So you measure your lap round, your lap round, I'm uh, sorry, your round lap measurement. So for this, the round lap that I'm using is 24 inches. The lap part, you are going to, you are going to divide it into two. It's 24. So when you divide 24 into two, I actually have 12 inches. So this is my 12 inches for my lap measurement and then from this point so you want you, you, you can measure your lap like this just measure it that's the, the thick part of your lap so for you to get the measurement so on this part after the 12 inches i'm going to add about 1.5 inches or 2 inches allowance so that will serve as your stitching allowance so i'm going to add it like this on this line and then I will just just leave it that way first, and then we'll come back. Let me bring it closer. Okay, so on this line where we added our hip, you know, from this point to this point, we use nine inches for the hip. That's where you are going to add your hip measurement. So my hip is forty. You divide into four. Note the hip you divide into four. That's ten. I'll mark ten inches, and then I'm going to add two inches for my stitching allowance. So this is my two inches. So from this point like this, I'm just going to do a slant curve like this. So you connect it to this point. So you see I have my crouch shape already. And then on this line, this the waist line, I'm going to mark my waist measurement. My waist is 36. You divide into 4, which is 9. So I'm, I'm going to come like this. I'll add 9 inches here. And then I'm going to add 2 inches stitching allowance. So out of these 2 inches, my uh, zipper allowance is going is included. So it's okay. You could do 2.5, but 2 inches is okay for me. So from this point, I'm just going to curve it to this point like this. So you see how I'm placing my pattern curve like this. Okay, so that is done. The next thing we are going to do now for the front, this is our front measurement. We are going to reduce um, the down, the center of the tummy. This is for, for people that are very, um, their, their tummies are big. You could reduce as much as two inches. But if your stomach is not really that big, you could do one inch. So I'm just going to come to this point like this. I will mark one inch like this on this point, and then I'll slant it to this edge. I'm just going to slant it like this to this top part. So you see what we have. Now we're going to come back to the down part of our palazzo. So I'll move this part up so you'll be able to see it properly. So for the down part, this is a palazzo. You can choose how much width you actually want for your palazzo trouser. So on mine, I'm going to be doing 12 inches. That's the width. So from this point, I'll measure 12 inches here. This is 12 inches. And then from this and 12 inches, I'm just it's really simple. What I'm just going to do, I'm going to take my 
long ruler like this and then I'm going to connect it so I hope you can see it I'm just going to connect it to the crouch points like this so you see what we have I'm going to cut it out right now so all of our measurements is included okay this um remember sorry I left two inches on the down that I'm going to use to fold so I'll cut this point like this and then I'll cut the waist slant and then we'll cut the sides like this and then we'll cut this side okay so we're done now we're going to place this on the back piece and then we'll cut out the back okay so to cut out the back this is the, the other piece, so I'm just taking my the front piece like this, I'll place it on top like this and then I'm going to add some measurements here for you to see. The first measurement I'm going to add, I'm going to come to this crouch point like this, this is the crouch point, I'm going to come in by about 1 inch or 1.5, so it depends on, you could use 1 inch, you could use 1.5, so this is 1.5, I'm just going to mark it like this. And then I'll just put a, a mark here and then I'll come to this down part for the down part I'll use one inch or half of an inch one inch is okay let's, let's do one inch I'll add one inch on this part like this and then from this one inch here what we're going to do we're just, we're just going to connect it to that point like this You could do half of an inch it will still be okay and then after that we'll come to this top part so for the top part i'm going to do 1.5 because the back of a, a trouser a pants is always higher than the front so i'll mark 1.5 here and then i'm going to slant it into the waist line of the front piece like this and then from this point like this i'm just going to mark I'm going to follow this 1.5 and then take it through the side of my of my crouch and then I'll bring it like this so I hope you can see it. You could use your curve. I'm just trying to do a freehand method. The next thing, so after marking that point, we're going to come to the waist part of the back piece on this side. We'll measure one inch like this and then that slant, just slant it into that point. And then from this, the one inch like this, you just curve it into the hip point. Just use it, just connect it like this to the hip, to the hip point like this. And then you come to the down part. So for the down part, we're not adding anything. We're just going to follow the same straight measurement. So we can actually start cutting now. You follow the side of the back. So once you get to this point, you are going to take your hand upward a little bit. And then you cut that out and then for this part you cut out the slant into the back so you see they are equal on this side and then the crotch part you cut out like this so and then you cut out like this and then we're done with our palazzo trouser so you could see our palazzo trouser is very big you can actually do, I know I did 12 inches for the down, you can actually do 10 inches. Depends on how big and fitted you actually want it to be. So the next thing I'm going to do now, for the back piece, you're just going to divide the center. Divide it by 2. So you add your dart to it. So I'm going to mark, this is the middle, I'm just going to put a notch like this. And I'm going to use to add my dart. So for the dart, I'm going to do about five five or six inches depends on how let's let me do five inches is okay so my dart is going to run just a regular waist dart the next thing we're going to do we're going to add um pocket so if you want to add pockets to this um palazzo i don't know if i should add pocket i'm just trying to think okay let's add pockets i'm going to use a different color of fabric okay so now we're going to add the pockets to it so for the i will just take out the back piece and then i'll keep it on the side i'll mark it like this 
I'll come to this side like this. I would mark two inches inwards. So this is two inches. And then the length of the pocket, I'm going to use 6.5 inches. This is 6.5 inches. So from this point, I'm just going to give it a curve like this. You could use an okay so i'm just going to just give it a slant curve you could actually do that with your hands seriously so you just cut it into that point and then i'm going to cut it out like this so that's for the pocket you could do seven inches if you want it really deep For the, so the next thing, I'm going to use this fabric for the pocket. So it's folded into four, like this. The length is 12, 12 inches or 12.5. And then the width is folded into four, take note. The width, I have 6.5. So from this point, I'm just going to, to curve it in. Just give it a slant curve, it's not, and then open up this point. So it's really simple and easy. The next thing you're going to take, take it like this, you open it up. And then you place this on it like this. And then you cut out that part. Just to have the shape. That's just basically the essence of that. Okay, the next thing we're going to go and start and stitching now. So I'm going to show you how we're going to stitch this palazzo now. Okay, so in stitching our our pants, our, our palazzo, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you now how to do this. So this is our pocket part i'm going to take this now you take one piece of the pocket like this and then i'm going to go and stitch it round like this so i'll stitch it and then it's going to go in so i'll just do that and then come back and show you okay so you see i finished stitching it just like i told you this is the pocket you're just going to place it under like i showed you just the way you would cut it and then you stitch on this part this is the pocket part so after stitching you open it up like this you can actually do a top stitch if you want to you can top stitch this point just to relax it down but mine you see it is relaxed so i'm not top stitching it so when stitching you place them like this place this on this side and let the other one Face, let them face be facing each other. That's the way you will know which is which. So we're finished teaching the first set. The next thing we're going to do now, you are going to take this like this. You know this pocket when we're cutting it, we actually folded it into two. So you are going to take this point like this, and then you are going to flip it like this. It's just simple. You see the edge of our trouser. You just you are just going to take it. Let just the way we folded it initially. Let it come back to the fold like that you see it is back just that cuff i'm just trying to explain so you will understand you see it, it is back on the curve you see this is our pocket you see it the same thing you will do to this other side also just bend it and bring it to this point like this so you can actually put a notch at the center while doing this to make it easier so the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to go and join. So this part, I'm, I, you, I, you could trim out the excess, any excess you have. You can actually trim out that part. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go and join our trouser. That is our palazzo. We'll, we'll join it together. So after folding it down like this, you're just going to fold it. So you see the shape of our pocket. You turn the back like this. And then this part, so like I said, you can actually notch this point. So from this point, like this, you are just going to stitch, let it come back to this point. So you see the pockets like this, you stitch it from here, 
from this point like this just stitch it let it come back to the beginning of the pocket you stitch to this point around like this and then this part you can just do a top stitch because this is the where we are going to fix the band so i'm just going to go and do that i'm trying to explain because i want you to understand you stitch this point down just to secure this and then you stitch this from the inside like this to this point to the edge of the pocket so i'll do that and then you see the shape it will start making sense now okay so you see how it is looking so you see this side this is one part of our pocket and then this is the other part of the pocket so the easiest way for you if you are a beginner and you want to make this kind of trouser or palazzo the way for you not to confuse them you make sure you know that the crotch part is deeper than the pocket part so that you should put that into consideration with that you are not going to go and sew your pocket on the on the crouch part so the next thing we are going to do now so you see the this is the front piece what we are going to do now we are going to take so you see the back you see the pocket like this you are going to turn them this is still our front piece we are going to turn them facing each other like this and then i'm going to go and stitch on the crouch i'll just stitch the crouch part like this so I'll, I'll stitch the front crouch and then I'll do the same thing to the back crouch like this also. I'll stitch on the crouch notes and then I'll add my dart on the back piece. So I'll do that and then come back and show you. Okay, so you see our trouser, our pants, our palazzo is almost ready and it is looking so beautiful. The next thing you are going to do we are going to turn the back piece and then we are going to take our measurement for us to know how to stitch so you turn the right side facing right side so it's going to sit like this you see it, it is sitting perfectly well for those people that would like since the front is the back is bigger how does it sit it actually sits you have to bring it together let it sit so you take your final measurement now if you want your waist measurement from this back part so you see the way it is sitting nicely you are going to come to this part now you are going to measure your waist measurements on this top part you divide it into two like this and then you come to this part the down part of the pocket you take your hip measurement that's my waist measurement you take the hip measurement because if you want it fitted so take the hip measurement also on this part but since this is a palazzo you know normally i don't want the the hip i don't want it to be um, very tight i should have used them 20 inches if it was a pant but for this, since I want it open, I'm going to use 22 inches. I want it loose. So I'm just going to mark like this. And then I would mark like this also. So I hope you can see it. So from this point like this, from this point, I'm just going to, to stitch like this into my hip line. So I hope you get it. And then from this point, I'm just going to stitch it downwards. So the same thing that I did here, I'm going to repeat it on the other side. I will go and stitch them and then come and show you how to stitch the center. Okay, so I finished stitching. I finished stitching the sides. So you can see how it is looking. The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm just going to hold like this. This is the center of my crouch. I'll take this part. Just make sure that they are aligned. So you see them, they are aligned on the side. You just take this part and then you stitch one to this side and then stitch the other one to this side. So because of that extra inches that I added to my trouser, I can decide to add my... If I'm add, if this one, if, it, if this is a stretchy fabric, you don't need to add a zipper to it. But if it is not a stretchy fabric, you can add the zipper to the side or you can add the zipper to the back so you see the allowance that i have you can actually add a zipper on the back so most of the pants that are in tr on trend now 
the zipper is always at the back so you could add the zipper so this i'm going to add the zipper at the back i'll just teach and then add the zipper and then come back and show you the final look so for the band you can just cut your regular waistband and then add to it so i'm not going to really deliberate on that part on this video so i'll just finish it up and then show you the final look of this palazzo okay okay people so you can see at the end of the day this is how our palazzo trouser looks like so you see that it actually came out very well beautiful so you see the pocket so you see the side pocket so you can actually make it deep but you know i use 12 inches you can use about 13 inches depends on how deep you want it to be so you see this one on the side also so guys thank you so much so you see the waist i just added the band just like i told you i used one inch band so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i would appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what i did and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel thank you so much i'll see you in my next video god bless you